I'm watching the Great British bake off. <laughs> I hate myself. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a first impressions, testing out, review, you know, the whole shebang on the new Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. I received this in PR and it came with the palette, four liquid lipsticks and a pipe, because you know, dude, 420 blows up. <laughs> I don't smoke, but if you do, Cool. When I first saw this being teased on Instagram, I was so excited because as you guys may know, if you have been following me, the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette is like my all time favorite palette. And when I saw this initially, I thought, damn, this looks like a palette that was inspired by Puff Puff Pass, dude, you know? Perp skirt. It wasn't apparently, this was the Gemini palette, which I don't know, I don't know anything about Geminis cause I'm a Capricorn. I did a makeup look with these. I will link the video up here if you guys wanna watch it. I did a video with the green shades and I've also used these many, many times. When I wanna do an everyday look, this is the palette that I gravitate towards always. I friggin' love these shades right here. It are my everything, this black is amazing. This side I get less use out of, but is still so insanely gorgeous because the green shades in there are so wearable. Today I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and that is I'm gonna do two different eye looks, one on each eye, because there are a lot of colors in this palette and I can see different eye looks that I wanna do with it. Before we just, you know, before we do it, let's look at it. There's gonna be a lot of weed references to the in this video, so children be warned, know that I do not smoke. And if you wanna know why, watch this video. <laughs> okay, but before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos all the time, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually, um, and it's been one to three times a week for the last couple of months, but shit's about to change. Don't you worry, it's about to get real. But before it does, <laughs> subscribe. And you guys can also give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see this eyeshadow palette. I teased it on Instagram stories, and so many people were requesting a video with this, more than I think any other palette that I've ever done. So so this is the palette here. You open it up and oh my God. Today for this look, I'm gonna actually do a look with this side here and a look with this side here. And then I'm gonna try something completely different. We're gonna see if it works or not. I don't know if it's going to. This palette looks so stunning to me. Do I feel like this is a palette for the everyday person? Not really. These olive -y tones are everything I love. These I've never really played with much before. So I'm excited to give them a go. As for the liquid lipsticks that it comes with, these are the four colors that you have here. I've already swatched them on my hand as you can see, but you've got this green matte liquid lipstick. It's called Toke. Then the one right next to that is called Breathless. And then the one next to that is called Bella Stona. <laughs> and then Velvet Room right here, which that one is a matte liquid lipstick. It's just taking a while to dry down. These two look very, very similar to me, like almost so similar that I wonder why they didn't do something completely different or add like a gloss in, but hey, you know, it's their collection. They can do whatever they want. It also came in this cute little makeup bag and I just love it. I'm about to hook it up fire stuff. If you don't know what I'm referencing every time I do that, FYI, it's Kyle. I got some uh, some good bomb ass stank ass from up north. Oh, sick. Yeah, perp screw. Ooh, then you'll be in a cloud of perp up fast, man. Dude, when you can get some real skink ass, bomb ass, dank ass skunk like that, dude. Hmm. Woo! I will link it down below. It is one of the funniest videos that exists on YouTube. So some information about this eyeshadow palette. Let's take a look and see what the prices are. The other day they had a password required on their website and the password I guess was Bella Stona. Uh, so it looks like the Smoke Sessions palette is sold out. Gemini palette sold out. 27 palette still in stock. I love Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. I think they have such a beautiful eyeshadow formula. The palette is smaller than Gemini. As you can see, Gemini is just a, a big palette. So this one's quite a bit smaller. I love their packaging. It's simple, it's beautiful. I love that it's got that little pot leaf embossed inside of it. That's so cute. So I am just going to tap on my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. As you guys know, I always do. This is the eyeshadow base I always use. If you either love it, like me and use it every single day you do your makeup or you loathe it with your entire being. No, it's only one of the two. So like I said, I am going to do an eye look with these four shades first and then I'm gonna go with these four shades second. These are the only two matte shades in the palette. The rest are shimmery. So I think it'll be really interesting to see how this works. I think both of these go really well together. So I could go in and use some of the green shades from the Gemini palette, but that's not really fair to anyone who just purchases this right out the bat. So I'm just gonna be using the Smoke Sessions palette today. But if you do have Gemini, I think these green shades are good additions to the matte shades because as you can see, there's three mattes 
in here that are green. These yellow shades, oh my God. <gasps> Look how beautiful all those are together. Oh my shit. Their colors are really unique. Where I've seen a lot of green eyeshadows before, these colors are so unique. Like these aren't your everyday average greens, you know? I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M441. This brush I got in the James Charles collection with Morphe and I keep, I wanna keep testing these out to see if I like them or not. So I'm gonna dip into Sour Diesel here. These must be weed names. Yeah, Gravity, OG, Granddaddy, Black Widow, Sour Diesel, Space Queen, Mean Green, Sweet Tooth, and Blue Dream. I don't know anything about anything, but damn, just a couple of taps into that shade and it is so pigmented. Oh, okay, that shade, while it looks green in here, it really goes on the eyes kind of like black, almost like a dark gray neutral. It doesn't really have much of a green hint to it. You see, it almost just looks like kind of like gray. I'm also gonna pat this in the inner and outer corner to really darken them up. I mean, you've got one matte shade here. You've got two, but I feel like because this is such a blue-based green right here, this is a warm-based green, like a yellow base. And so mixing these two may work, but I don't think it's ideal. I think that's why the palette's kind of separated off the way that it is by like that and that. I do think this palette could have been better already just with my first impression already if it were the size of the Gemini and added two more matte shades in here, one on each side of the spectrum, like kind of like a yellowier green on this side and a coolier toned green, like mint shade to blend out this color on this side. Ah, uh, it's $48 versus the other two are 58. So it is $10 cheaper, but you also get two less shades. I would have just preferred in my opinion to pay the extra $10 to make the palette more well-rounded. I think I'm gonna go against a lot of makeup rules right now and just say fuck it and go in with this shade here on this little brush and I think I'm going to sort of blend that out. I know that a lot of times there are like makeup rules and that is that matte shades are to blend out and shimmer shades are to pack on, which I think generally I completely agree with. If you have really textured eyes like me, sometimes they can like really bring out that texture. Kind of limited in this palette, so I feel like I kind of have to go in with a shimmery shade up there. It looks kind of cool actually with that shade on top of it. It looks grungier, that's for sure. I'm gonna take my little Sigma tapered blending brush. It's a clean blending brush and just sort of run it over the edge to make sure that's really smoked out and not harsh at all. Since we're only one matte shade in, that actually looks kind of cool. All right, so I think I'm gonna dip into this shade here with my finger, which is Black Widow. I'm gonna tap that on the inner and outer of the eyelid here. I'm then gonna dip into granddaddy right here. Oh, these are so soft and pillowy. <laughs> I fucking love Melt Cosmetics, dude. And then I'm gonna take some of that sour diesel color again. Just really blend it in. And now I'm gonna move on to the other eye because there's something I'm gonna do to these eyes that do I know if it's gonna work? No. Do I hope it does? Yes. Am I concerned that it won't? 100%. All right, so I'm gonna do the same, very similar eye shape on the other side, but I'm gonna start off with Space Queen here. And then I think I'm gonna do the same thing with my little Makeup Addiction brush. And I'm going to dip into Mean Green here and just slightly blend that over to blend that shade out a bit. All right, and then I'm gonna take some of Mean Green Sweet Tooth. Oh my God, they are the softest shades in the world. Wow. Oh, I really like these colors a lot. <gasps> that is absolutely stunning. All right, and then I'm gonna take my little Makeup Addiction brush, dip into Space Queen. 
again, which is that deep blue toned green, and I'm really deepening up inner and outer. Okay, so I feel like these eye looks are very similar at this point, but now I'm gonna try something that may or may not work. <laughs> this may ruin the whole thing. I'm going to take the white Makeup Forever Aqua XL paint, and I squirted out some of that onto the back of here. I'm also going to take this green. This is the Makeup Forever Color Ink. I'm gonna put a bit of that on the back of this palette. And then I'm gonna take some of the Makeup Forever Aqua XL paint in the yellow shade. This part has nothing to do with the actual palette. This is just me trying to create something neat on my eye. I'm not gonna be able to talk during this part because it is going to be me paying very close attention, but hopefully this works. Okay, that actually worked way better than I thought. And I'm going to dip into this shade to outline everything to make sure that it's, you know, nice and crispy. I'm watching the Great British bake off. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, I think that's fine for that. I need to highlight it a little bit more, but I'm gonna take some of this shade here, which is Gravity OG, and I'm going to take it on that same little detail brush and I'm gonna like create like a burst from behind it so that it kind of stands out. I'm actually preferring the way that these color inks perform, so I'm going to use the yellow and white color inks instead of the Aqua XLs. All right, I'm going to attempt to do the same thing on this eye, but I'm going to make it a little bit cooler tone. So I'm gonna add a little more blue. In fact, I think I wanna kind of use this shade here. And now let me tell you, you need so much less than you think, like just kind of runs out, but that's more than enough to do five eyes. All right, that took me an hour. I am going to go throw lashes, brows, and my base and everything on, cause that, you know, it's not part of this collection, okay? So quit asking. And I am going to come back and we're gonna blow out the lower lash line and we're just gonna look baked. <laughs> I'm gonna do that BRB. So on my skin is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette, the ABH and Omri Z Highlighter, the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I like the way this looks. I mean, is it something I would wear out every day? Yes. I think I'm obviously gonna go in with this shade on the underneath of my eye on the other side and then this one on the blue tone side, but I'm gonna use lots of shimmers on the underneath of my eye as well. I think that's something that I fail to do a lot and I think it'll be fun. So I'm running this mostly pretty low and in the bag of my eye, like underneath the eye bag area. I'm taking that little makeup addiction brush and just really like running it low on this side. I love, as you guys know, to blend out my lower lash line really low. I think it makes your eye shape look larger and I just think it's fun. Use that same brush and then use my color switch in between. And then for the other side, I'm gonna go into Sour Diesel. And I like to just kind of pull that shade down. That really blends it into the highlight. Even though there's no transition shade really, there's no harsh edge. I think I'm gonna use a pencil brush for this. This is the Sigma Detailed Lip Brush. And I think for the other side, I wanna go in with this shade, maybe both of these guys down here. I didn't use Blue Dream yet. Let's try it with my finger. 
I'm trying with a little setting spray actually. Let's see if it works better with setting spray. With just the brush, it definitely applies, but I want a little more metallic than that, I think. Oh yeah. I'm gonna run that in the inner corner as well. Nice and bright. On the middle, I'm doing Sweet Tooth, and then the outer, I'm doing Mean Green. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side, but I'm gonna do this on the very inner corner, this in the middle, and this on the outer. Oh. I kind of want to take a brush like this. This is the Luxie 141 mini round brush. And I want to dip into the lighter shades like on this side. I want to dip into that one, which was Gravity OG and dip into it a little bit and just really buff it on the inner corner. Maybe even mixed with a little bit of my highlighter just so it's a lot lighter and brighter. And like almost bring it up. All right, I'm going to do that on the other one with Blue Dream. Mixed with Umreezy. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on my brow bone, I think. All right, I've got a few different liners to choose from. <laughs> oh, I'm liking that one for that side and then gold for this side, okay. This one's Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Liner in Ocean. Oh, that looks, that works really well. This is the shade here. It's perfect for this eye look. Damn. All right, and then the other one I'm gonna use is Gold Mine from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On. That works pretty well too, perfect. And then I'm just going to toss on some mascara. All right, and that is the eyes done. I think it's just very fitting that we go with toque. Let's toque it. Maybe I'll use the C one. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I've never used, have I used Melt Cosmetics lip stuff before? I don't think I have. And you know what? I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna take, I'm feeling this one right here, mean green, and I'm gonna tap that over my lips. Oh yes. Maybe a little gravity OG too. Oh yes. And you know, for shits and gigs, I might just pop a little gloss on the top. All right, my friends, and this is the finished look. Look at that bomb ass, stank ass. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look with the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions eyeshadow palette and one of the lip products. I'm gonna give you guys my full thoughts on everything now. I actually am so surprised by how much I love this side. When I initially saw the palette, I always gravitate towards this goldier side. This side though, oh, love. I think that this side is actually my favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite side. I mean, all of these will be something I use often, but there's something about this color combo that's absolutely stunning. And on this eye, I just find that to be so pretty. Paired with even lighter shades, like if you wanted to buff this in, ooh, maybe like the Huda Beauty palette, the Gemstone Obsessions in like the minty color would be a really nice color to blend this in with. All the shimmers perform great. They are very, very shimmery, very beautiful, very buttery. Right when you dip your finger in, they're so incredibly soft. It's just like unbelievable. 
and they perform as beautiful as you can see here. They just are so stunning. I do feel like these two shades are very similar. Maybe could have been something a little bit different. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Like this one here is a lot more bright gold than this one's a little more muted, like a bronzy color. Still so stunning and I have nothing negative to say about them, but they do almost look very similar when you put them on the eyes. If you love the shades in here, you're not gonna hate the formulas. Melt Cosmetics has a beautiful formula, incredible pigmentation. Like I said in the beginning of this pack, palette when I first opened it up, I feel like it is lacking two shades. I feel like it's lacking a lighter shade of this and a lighter shade of this. When you have only the two matte shades in the middle, it just makes it a little difficult to create anything sort of different than either of these. I mean, you can use different shapes and everything, but you're kind of limited to what you can do. You can definitely use this to like supplement in two other palettes that you have, but as a rounded eyeshadow palette, I think that it's missing two shades. It's not really anything that would stop me from buying this. If you like the color scheme of this, I think you'll really like it. There's a couple of things I would kind of tweak on it to make it absolutely perfect. The price is high. $48 is what the lip product uh i feel like it's really nice i feel like again like i said those two colors seem so similar that i don't know why they did two that were so so alike but maybe when they're applied they look completely different i really like the one that i'm wearing although this isn't a color i would typically wear all that often i don't know if i've ever seen colors like this before so this could be a good palette if you want something really unique that you can use the shadows in conjunction with some of your other products i have like a really big soft spot for melt eyeshadows though and their eyeshadow palettes i think I think everything they come out with is perfection. I do have one gripe with Melt and one gripe only, and that is even though one of my gripes is that their palettes are really expensive, given that the quality and just how much use I get out of them, I'd say I use my Gemini palette. If I'm getting ready and I'm not filming, I use my Gemini palette every single time that I put on my makeup. So it is expensive, but I do feel like for me, price is high but if you can afford it and it's not gonna break the bank, I think that you'll really like the palettes and probably get a lot of use out of them if visually you see the colors and think, I love those so much. But my biggest gripe with Melt Cosmetics, and this is maybe a, maybe a selling tactic, maybe it's just part of being like a more indie brand, they're not really anymore, they're growing quite a lot, is that their products sell out so fast. Now, I don't know if they're making small batches, I don't know if they're doing this on purpose, I don't know if they're so popular that even if they are ordering 100,000 units that they're selling out. The problem is, is that they sell out so fast, they make these incredibly cool limited edition products, and then they sell out immediately, and then everyone's like, <laughs> What the fuck? So they did bring the Gemini palette back. Smoke Sessions is already sold out and it's so irritating for everyone that wants to get it. I don't know, but if I saw, okay, well, the last time we sold palettes, we sold, you know, 50,000 units. We're a bigger brand now. We sold out immediately. People were pissed. Maybe next time let's order double. Other than that, that's my main gripe is that I feel like they sell out too quickly and then you're either waiting on a long wait list or they never bring the product back and then you're stuck waiting. One problem I really dislike about liquid lipsticks is that they do this. But yeah, I mean, I think the liquid lip colors are really pretty, but again, for me, I don't love a matte liquid lipstick, so I wish they were either came in a gloss form or came in a lipstick form versus liquid lipstick. Overall, I do think the palette is nice, and if you have the extra money or if you're looking for something for Christmas, I'm not exactly sure when Melt is gonna be bringing this back or getting more, hopefully before the holidays, so that you can get this. Hopefully they bring back enough of a quantity. Melt, please realize that you are beautiful and popular and people like you, and we will buy you. And if you just stock us, we shall buy you out. But for more things than you bring us, Am I high? I'm gonna say if I could be a brand, I think I'd wanna be Melt. I think of all the brands, I'd wanna be Melt Cosmetics. And that is the video. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos as often as I can. Uh, you're getting a video tomorrow and Wednesday, so, and probably Friday as well. So you're getting four videos this week, so enjoy that. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye! Dude, I forgot to tell you I got a new bong, dude. Uh, Python brand bong. Uh, hand blown dust bomb, dude. Let me get it and then let's box hot, dude. You can get some real stink ass, bomb ass, dank ass skunk like that, dude. Woo! Put a little nug nug in there. Make sure it's crystallized, dude. Dude, the fumes make it happen, dude. Woo! Dude, where'd you get the skunk gunk? Where'd you get that skunk gunk? Ooh, where'd you get that skunk gunk? There's burp, scrub, 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 scrub. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm tripping, boys, man. Do you smoke weed? No, no way, dude. No. Do you know what it is? No.
Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be actually, I'm gonna be actually, I'm not gonna faff on too much. Is that the term, am I using that correctly? Complete, well, I spit. I don't know if it's gonna work, if it's gonna screw up this entire eye look. It may, it may marry well. I would have preferred to just pay the extra two dollars, or what? <laughs> Where are you? Hmm? Makeup addiction? I need you. With the smoke sessions palette. What was that? But I think it is pretty clear how I feel about this palette. Is it? I don't think I even said anything, so maybe not. This side though, however, though, however. What? I fucking hate that. It's like I was licking a cat. And I wasn't, I promise. For uh, Christmas? Well, I was trying to say summer and Halloween at the same time. I don't know where I am in my mind. Really, really unique. Really, really, is there another word for unique? Hey Siri, what's a synonym for unique? Synonyms of unique are alone, unequaled, unequaled, unparalleled, singular. You're a stupid bitch. Unequaled, unequaled. Some brands, like, like I think that they sold out so fast. What am I saying? There's like a giant cat, is it a cat hair? Is it my hair? There's something about a liquid lipstick versus a matte lipstick. There is a... It feels like a whole head hair on my tongue. How come it can't come out? I, I know that everyone else... And to each his own, but... I swear to God. 